हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन माई क्लास एज यू नो दैट इन प्रीवियस क्लेसेशन वी हैव रीड अबाउट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉयल विच मेनली इंक्लूड थ्री स्टेप्स दैट इज प्लॉइंग लेबलिंग एंड मैन्यूरिंग टूडे वी विल रीड अबाउट द सेकेंड टॉपिक दैट इज सोइंग ऑफ सीड दैट इज मेनली द सेकेंड बेसिक स्टेप्स ऑफ द बेसिक एग्रीकल्चर प्रैक्टिसेज so what do you mean by sowing of seeds sowing of seeds that means scattering seeds on the earth surface after soil is being prepared for cultivation but before sowing the seeds some points we have to remember or certain things we have to keep in mind so what are these certain points which we have to remember the first the very important point that is the seeds should be of good quality now one question should come in your mind that what do you mean by good quality seeds how can you recognize the seeds are of good quality or not so good quality seeds that means the seeds which are clean healthy and free from diseases or you can say they having the high yielding variety or capacity high yielding variety means that means in a small piece of land the production or yield will be more here one activity is given better you may perform at home nowadays for this activity you have to take one ball and fill half fill it with water and after that you have to put some seeds might be you may add some gram seeds or moong seeds and leave it for some times after some times what you will observe that some seeds will be settled down the seeds those who are settled down that means they are good quality seeds they they having the higher density and the seeds which will be float some seeds we you will say that that will be float on the water surface because of uh, they may be hollow they may be eaten by the microorganisms and that's why it having the lesser density that's why it will be float on the water surface and these seeds will be of bad quality i think you have read about the density in your physics classes but apart from this there are also certain points which we have to keep in mind so what are these points or precaution we have to take while sowing the seeds so first is seeds should be sown at proper depth proper depth is very important otherwise what will be happen if seeds should be sown in the superficial layer of the soil it may be eaten by the birds some animals and if it be deeply it will if it deeply situated then it is not able to germinate second point is seeds should be sown at the proper interval that means proper gap should be there between two seeds otherwise over crowding will be occur in that case also some seeds will be fail to germinate and third point that is seeds should be not sown in neither too wet soil or dry soil that means moisture is important proper moisture is important inside the soil now the next topic that is what are the different methods of sowing how farmers sow the seeds in the soil so generally two methods are there one is broadcasting method and second one is by using the seed drain so what do you mean by broadcasting methods broadcasting methods that means just spreading or scattering the seeds by using hand this in the soil this method is called broadcasting method this is the easy methods but actually some disadvantages are there that's why it is not fruitful yield will be affected so what are the disadvantages of uh, broadcasting methods first is overcrowding may be occur how overcrowding may be occur if we scatter the seeds so some may get collected at one places so it will affect the germination and the growth of the crops it will distributed unevenly uneven distribution should be there which also affect the production they will not get the proper nutrient supply that means improper nutrient supply so these are the disadvantages of using broadcasting methods nowadays seed drill method is used which is called the modern methods and seed drill that is a agriculture implements which having the sharp ends and actually this is driven by the tractors 
and if we put the seeds in the seed drill the seeds should be sown at proper depth proper distance and after sowing the seeds it may covered by the soil so in this way it may prevent uh, from the birds and animals so that means they will not uh, get destroyed the seeds so this is the modern methods seed drill methods and uh, also some advantages are there it can save our time also energy labor cost also so next is you may see what are the advantages of using the seed drill so what are the advantages seeds should be sown at the uniform distance because uh, in the seed drill this serpent they are uh, situated at the proper distance so seeds should be sown at the proper or uniform distances it will be protected from the birds also it saves our time and it also saves of the human labor and seeds should be also sown at the proper depth and after sowing it is covered by the soil next is one method that is transplantation method which is used in some vegetables like tomatoes chilies and in paddy also actually what is transplantation trans trans that means transfer okay transfer the plant transfer the seed, uh, sapling from the nursery to the main field this is called transplantation method so first seeds are grown in a small area and after they will uh, converted into the sapling then it is transferred to the main field so this method is called transplantation method certain advantages of transplantation methods are there in this way that means we can select the good uh, saplings which may affect the production production will be more so these are the different methods of sowing now come to the third point of the basic agriculture practices that is